Welcome back, everybody. It's Friday, so it's another Mail Day, Mail Day, Mail Day episode where we open everything we received over the course of a busy week of mail. Not many packages came in this week. Should be a quick one. But first, our man Chuck Howley's in the Hall of Fame. From school, West Virginia. Best linebacker I've ever coached, said Coach Tom Landry. No better source than he to tell you how good Chuck Halley was. A five, count them, five sport letterman at West Virginia University. Five sports in college, amazing. Incredible athlete, only MVP from a losing team of the Super Bowl, Super Bowl for the Cowboys. They lost to the Colts 16-13 in Super Bowl five. And Chuck Halley from Wheeling, West Virginia, Warwood High School, a longtime hero of mine. So glad to see he made it long overdue. Very well deserved. And I may be going to Canton in August. Who knows? I hope so. When my last sports hero from Wheeling made the Hall of Fame, Bill Mazeroski, I was there. All right. Without further ado, we're going to open the best first, I think. Hey, and also we got a little package from Autographs 2000. So we'll open that one last. Scott over there has been keeping busy. Sent me a Christmas card with a card in it. I haven't reciprocated yet, and he sent me another package. So how about that? Autographs 2000 does a great, great job on his channel, the TTMs and busting boxes. He's going to be busting some tops 2023 this week, hopefully. And uh, so go over there and check his channel out. Of course, I'll leave a link down below. But uh, unsolicited package, and I'm looking forward to opening that one. But first... This is kind of a uh, reason for purchasing this one. $14.50, tough card to find. And that is the Rick Monday 67 Rookie Stars rookie card. He's coming up for a private signing. That was February 8th. This arrived on the 4th, which was Saturday. And didn't have time to mail it. Came after the mail ran, of course. So I, the first I could get it out was Monday the 6th. Had to be there by the 8th. I did not want to risk it. Um, as you may know, if you've watched my channel for very long, I've only done one private signing in my entire career. And that one was returned to me because it was Denny McLean canceled. So I'm not a pro by any stretch. And mailing it on the 6th wasn't guaranteed to be there by the 8th unless I paid a bunch of money. And the autograph itself is already $15. Rick Mundy does sign through the mail, but he's very uh, spotty. And I've sent cards to him before and haven't got those returned. So I wanted to make sure to send this rookie card to a private son to make sure I get it back signed. He has a great signature and he was even signing the flag photos, which uh, for years he didn't do. Uh, but now he'll personalize those. So he, he does one about every year with that group that sponsored him. So I'll just wait till next year. Or if he's signing regularly during the season from the Dodger Stadium with his job there with the team, then I may take a chance. You never know. But that was $14.50 plus $4.95 shipping, so right around $20. So tough card to take a risk on. All right, enough blabbering about that. Next up is another eBay purchase. Got a Facebook group purchase, and that was a really good one. You guys will like to see that. This should be some Buck Showalter cards. Looking through my collection, realizing that Buck's been a great manager for a long time. Took a little break to go back to broadcasting. Now he's back with the Mets. Did a great job with the Mets last year. Just He's been a winner everywhere he's gone. And he's got a shot for the Hall of Fame. And I looked at my collection. I didn't have hardly any Buck Showalter autographs. And he does a great job signing through the mail. And uh, also, when he was with the Yankees, it seems like every card with the Yankees just has him wearing that black Yankees jacket and with a black background. So tough to find. Of course, those are the stadium club. Those were like a, I don't know, dollar fifty. No, I got four for one ninety six. Four for one ninety six plus a dollar shipping on the Stadium Club. Upper deck is four for three ninety six with a dollar shipping on those. Nice white surface for a great signature, and then the tops were a dollar ninety five for two plus a dollar twenty four shipping. So if you can find Buckshaw Walter cards especially with the white uh, uniform, white jerseys. 
uh, pick him up and send him to him. He is a great signer. And he's really been signing uh, well the last couple years, including during the season last year when he was managing the Mets, which that was a surprise to me. I thought he might slow down or even stop. Well, he's focused on managing the team, but nope. Kept it right up and helped us TTMers out. All right, another eBay purchase error. Should just be one card or one lot of cards. But I saw uh, Eddie's Cardboard Chaos was working on the buck. Little buck project, I guess, he's got going. So I told him I had just ordered a bunch of buck cards. And he said, are you going to send them out in spring training or are you going to wait till the season starts? And I said, I'm going to try to make it there before spring training. So I'm going to send these out tomorrow, possibly. And I need that envelope back because how much was this? One dollar plus eighty-five cents. Dollar eighty-five delivered, which wasn't as good deal as buying it through the lots. But I bought that one first. All right, Burbank cards—they're always good. Uh, this is the Facebook group purchase. Got some signed cards here. Facebook groups—you got to be quick. This guy had a bunch of cards for sale. <sighs> A lot of times you just have to weed through them as quickly as possible, trying to find the best deal before someone else pounces on them. Yeah, I think I got some good cards here. Very reputable seller, Derek Hobine. And he does some PSA submissions. May have to just go through, get some PSA cards submitted through Derek. And there's another group out there that's been advertising a lot, pushing it since they closed Slab City. But now I hear that Slab City may reopen. So who knows for sure? We'll see. Time will tell. He was selling a bunch of autograph cards at pretty good prices. Frank Gunnar Gatsky from Marshall University. From Farmington, West Virginia. School Marshall. And then Auburn. He was at Marshall for two or three years. And then got drafted. Went to the servers for a couple years. Came back and went to Auburn where he... Eventually graduated from Auburn. And then he was on the Browns and played for 11 championship games in his 12 seasons. They won four. Pretty sweet. Never missed a game in 20 years of high school, college, or pro football. Real. Frank Gunnar Gatsky. $5 a piece. And then look at that signature with all the uh, inscriptions. Dante Gluefingers Lavelli Hall of Fame, 1975. That was $6. Love those swell cards. Kind of a great way to honor those Hall of Famers who were only on the vintage until these sets came out. Two more Gunnar Gatsky cards. And there it says again. Pretty sweet. So three Gunners were five, five, and five, and the Glue Fingers Lavelli was six. So that's 21. And I chose a bubble mailer, 450 shipping. Put all these Gunnar Gatsky cards together. Three of those. Chuck Alley. Love it. Congratulations, Chuck. All right. So $25.50 altogether, including shipping. Derek Hobine on Facebook. Okay. We got a note from Scott. Oh, Michael, I thought you, this was neat, and I'm hoping you don't already have it. Share the love. Share the hobby. Scott, Autographs 2000. Got me the Clemente Donruss Diamond King and the puzzle piece that's put together. Really cool. That was an insert. That's really cool. Thank you, Scott. I appreciate that. I may have that card. I think I just got that last year. Saw it myself and picked it up at a card show, I believe. And if I didn't, I remember having it in my hands and intending to buy it. That's really cool. Thanks. Again, check out Scott's channel, Autographs 2000. I'll leave a link down below. And that is it. Pretty quick mail day. Got four autographs, four Hall of Famers, one planning to get autographed, Rick Monday. And I'm going to send out to Buck here really shortly, probably tomorrow. Thanks for being with me. If you haven't subscribed yet, click that icon right there and then ring that bell or click all and you'll be notified of all the future videos that I post. And if you missed last Friday's Mail Day video, epic video there, take a look at it for yourself. And thanks for being with me today. Have a great weekend, everybody, and we'll see you soon.